Good evening and welcome to the Green Room 42. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your patience. At this time, we ask you, please take a moment, silence your phones at the Green Room 42. The use of photography and recording is strictly encouraged. And please tag us in your pictures and your videos at the Green Room 42. If you need to use the restroom, please exit through the doors you came in through, and they're located down the hall on the other side of the elevators. And if you'd like to order something during the performance, our servers will be available throughout the duration of the show, or you can use the table number on your lamp to order online. With those few necessities out of the way, I want you to please put your hands together for the reason you're all here, Eva Noblezada. Holy shit! Wow! Everybody looks muy bonita! Thank you for the live streamers. Where are the cameras now? Straight in the middle? I can't see it, but you can see me. Sorry, Mom and Dad, I'm in my bra tonight. Uh, how's everyone feeling? Oh, this is so exciting. Um, so welcome to our show. Uh, this is Rodney Bush on the keys. My God, he looks good. So beautiful. Um, tonight's show is called Let's Go to the Movies. I love going to the movies. I also love the music that comes from movies. So this uh, concert tonight is pretty much dedicated to all of the songs that I loved listening to um, in the movies that I loved. So starting out strong, if you know it, you get a sticker. Just kidding. Just a sticker. Here we go. Walking down the street, pretty woman, the kind of like to me, pretty woman. I don't believe you, you're not the truth. No one can look as good as you. Pretty woman, won't you pardon me, pretty woman? I couldn't help but see. Feels like. Don't say it. <laughs> what? Feels like what? Feels like. Uh, trying to think of the word now because you made me nervous. <laughs> Have you ever been in Home Depot and you walk past the lumber section and you go. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. Very specific. I've made that noise in a Home Depot. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Um, so I'm really excited about this next song because um, I grew up loving Toy Story. And um, there's actually a picture that my mom sent me from a while ago. Actually, sorry, let me get this shit out of my pocket. Okay, first we have um, Fenty Beauty, <laughs> lip gloss, <laughs> pussy pot. Um, what's in my other pocket? Oh, just a tiger's eye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, I have a picture my mom sent me when I was a little gal, and I have my Woody toy, my Buzz Lightyear toy, and right next to me, 
about this big, a toy fly, it was very disturbing. I don't know why. I think I, as a little kid, I felt really bad when, um, you know, stuffed animals or like toys, like people were like, ew, like I just wanted to buy them all because I thought they all had feelings. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't let your stuffed animal fall off the bed. And if it's, on the, if it's not on the bed, it needs to have other friends. Okay, just making sure we're on the same track here tonight. Um, <laughs> but this next song uh, was so sp special that we're singing this. Um, when I say we, I mean we. You all know the words, right? Okay, just make sure you came prepared. Um, I just love these movies so much. I did stop watching the Toy Story franchise, however, after the second movie, or I believe it was the third. It was the one where they all were about to burn and die. <laughs> Number three, thank you so much. Um, I don't enjoy that. Kind of ruined my childhood a little bit, but I guess that's the point. Um, but this song, when I first heard it, I could not stop singing it. I thought it was the most beautiful song ever, so it would be my pleasure to sing When She Loved Me for you. The saddest day, one of the saddest days of my life, when I was a little girl. I'm probably gonna share a lot of childhood memories of you tonight because I turn 27 next week and I'm feeling a certain type of way about it. That's okay, don't clap for aging. I'm not ready yet. Um, but thank you, I appreciate it. I loved horses when I was a little girl and I had this whole bin full of plastic horses and I would like, like, sort out all of the accessories, like the saddles and the blankets and the feed. Um, Not the feed. And I would, no, seriously, the feed, the hay and the carrots and the oats. And I would run around the house on all fours, I would. So just in case you get embarrassed about something in your life recently, um, no need to worry, 
because that's pretty embarrassing what I just told you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to come out in the audience. It's okay. And I, if I point at you, you have to do a backflip. If not, you're out. <laughs> uh, I figured that I would ask a question, and if anyone can get it right, then you choose kind of what song I sing next. It can't be a random song. It's going to be an A or B. Wait, actually, I should tell Rodney what they are. <laughs> Shall we go for it? Maybe not tonight. Next time. Okay, so here's my question. Um, I have to think. I'm probably going to ask a Disney question since I know a lot more about them. Um, or I can ask a Harry Potter question. Yeah. Sorry, Harry Potter. Even I say Harry Potter. I don't know why. Um, let, me, let, me guess, let me ask. Let me think. <gasps> Thank you. That's helpful. Please, please stay with that. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Stupid bitch. I love Hermione Granger. <laughs> okay, let me think. It's chaos. <laughs> oh! What's the name of the magical creature that Hagrid introduces to the students on his first day? I'm saying it. <laughs> okay, I can tell you no. Please tell everyone. Buckbeak, right? It's Buckbeak. Congratulations. Okay, now you get to choose the next song. So tell everyone your name and where you're from. Hey, I'm Mary Stewart Sullivan. I'm from here. <laughs> Work. Okay, so choose between A or B. This is it. let me let me let me let me let me do. <laughs> this is the vi this is the vibe for A. Okay, and this is the vibe for B. Oh, B? B. B. Okay, we're doing B. This is so exciting. No one knows what it is. Even, you don't even know what it is, Mary. Okay, ready? I'm really nervous. Let me set the stage. You think I'm an ignorant savage. And you've been so many places, I guess it must be so. But still I cannot see how the savage one is me. How can there be so much that you don't know? You don't know. You think you own whatever land you land on The earth is just a dead thing you can claim But I know every rock and tree and creature Has a life, has a spirit, has a name You think the only people who are people Are people who look and think like you but if you walk the footsteps of a stranger You'll learn things you never knew, you never knew Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Or ask the grinning bobcat why he grins? Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Come run the head and pine trails of the forest. Come taste the sun sweet berries of the earth. Come roll in all the riches all around you. And for once, never wonder what they're worth. The rainstorm and the my brothers, the heron and the otter are my friends, and we are all connected to each other in a circle, in a hoop that never ends. How high does the sycamore grow? If you cut it down, then you'll never know. All the colors of the wind 
you can own the earth and still all you'll own is earth until you can paint with all the colors of the wind. I'm so thirsty. Me too, baby. Oh, this one's an optical illusion. I thought there was water in there. It's not. One second. What if I was like. Gluck, gluck, gluck? That's for your sparkling. Mm. Oh, this is for sparkling. Saratoga is sparkling. It can't get better than this. Hermer Bushlinger. Uh, well, I'm not allowed to cheers with water, but it is sparkling. So, cheers, everybody. Oh, nice and. Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> a tight bubble. Um, okay, so I'm very excited about this next one. In 2013, I did a show called Footloose um, at Northwest School of the Arts, and I played Ariel. And I won the regional theater competition in Charlotte, which is called the Bloomy Awards. And if you, ah, oh, thanks. Uh, that's a great organization. And if you win your regional competition, if your region is does the Jimmy Awards, and you get to go to New York and be a part of the Jimmy Awards, which is um, also the National High School Musical Theater Awards, which is this incredible week of just young, fresh talent from all corners of the United States. And people, all the kids come up to New York and they study with Broadway professionals and they learn a big opening and closing number. And you bring a solo song to work with a Broadway professional. And I was like, I could choose a song from Footloose, but I think I'm gonna choose one of my favorite songs, With You, from Ghost the Musical, which I won't be doing because it's too sad. Okay, it's too sad. Um, but what I will be doing is a song from the movie, um, which I never actually got to watch the musical, uh, Ghost, but I watched the movie Ghost a lot more than I'd like to admit. Apparently, that's, I won't even share that fact. I should have shared that fact last time. I tend to watch, rewatch a lot of the shows that I love and movies I love. I'll go in like a loop. So like, I'll start watching Gilmore Girls again and people will be like, didn't you just watch, watch that? And I'll be like, I did. All season, I just start over again. But Ghost is one of those movies that not only do I have, I have two questions about Ghost. What does Demi Moore do? Because that apartment that they're just like fucking up, every time I watch it, I'm just like, that's like 30 bajillion dollars <laughs> to live in that Soho apartment. I also just think that it's one of the best movies ever. Um, and I kind of wish that they had had Patrick Swayze do like a five, six, seven, eight, like double pirouette off to the side in the movie since, um, actually Reeve and I watched Dirty Dance and he had never seen it before. So maybe one of these days we'll have a little time of our life moment. Um, but this, uh, I'm gonna be singing this to you. This is a song from Ghost the Movie. It wasn't written for Ghost the Movie, but it was in it. Oh.
things because we've never done that before. Okay, it's time to go out in the audience again. Except I have to ask another question, don't I? Oh, I know, I know. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. How about I just do this? I have a lot of friends here tonight from the show, from Hadestown. What's up, bitches? Not you, Francesca. I would never say that to you. Um, everyone, Joelle Blackman. <laughs> Alyssa Short. Shay Rennie. Reeve Carney. Big fan. Um, hey, Joelle. Tell everyone how you're feeling. I'm so excited to be here. I love this. You're so special. Joelle's going to choose the next song. OK, so um, choose between A or B. So A is, A is like, and OK, it's A. OK, 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 OK. I knew it. I knew it. So Joelle chose A, everybody. <laughs> I might have lied because A actually isn't a... What's this A? This song. But to me it is. And if it is to you, then we are all partying tonight. And if you know this song... What's A? A is... <laughs> a, A is... That one, got it, cool, cool, cool. I love this song very much. And I'm very excited to sing it here. One, two, three, four. Look at me. I will never pass for a perfect bride. Or a perfect daughter Can it be? Hey mom I'm not meant to play this part Now I see That if I were truly to be myself I would break my family's heart we have fun. Who's seen Hades Town? Oh my god, you raised your hands. What a great group. Uh, you know what's so funny about doing live theater on top of just everything being really exciting is that sometimes I feel like people are so in it that they forget that we can hear them. We once had, we've had several times where at the end of the show, the big kahuna part of the show. Someone will be like, no, which I love. I think that's very sweet. You're really in it. And then there'll be some times where you can hear, dumbass. <laughs> My favorite of all time at the end is everyone gasped and we were in it and it was so like, 
we were so in it. And a student from the balcony was like, he gonna jump? <laughs> I was like, what? But also, I could climb out, I guess. There was a time, just like a slow like climb out of the... There was a night when that part of the stage didn't work. Um, yeah, that was really bad. And that was also one of our first previews. Um, it was really, really horrible because it's supposed to go down at the end like this. But instead, all I heard was really, really bad. So I thought, what am I supposed to do? Because what am I supposed to do? We've never rehearsed this. And so I could easily like off stage, which is essentially what I had to do. I had to run off stage. But the running part was not the embarrassing part. The embarrassing part was the acting part. Because if it's not gonna go down, then I have to find a reason to leave. So that reason was, oh no, I'm forgetting everything. I'm being called over here. <laughs> and that's how the show ended. Even worse, I had friends in that night and they were like, it was amazing. Really wish that the thing would have gone down though at the end. And I was like, it was supposed to. Um, see, I, I get on tangents and then I, excuse me one second. <laughs> oh, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Is it just me? Am I the only person you can't stop doing a British accent? It's terribly, terribly annoying. But on the subject of this, <laughs> please, darling, please keep playing. Thank you. I'd like to make a toast to everyone here tonight. Thank you for coming all the way to the Sketcher Hotel. It looks like a Sketcher shoe outside of the hotel. But once you come inside, you're welcomed with a night of class and cheekiness and music and fun and lavishness and all the good things so cheers to you cheers to me hold C minor put it in C minor ladies and gentlemen if you know what this song is from good for you where have all the good men gone and where are all the guides? Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steed? Late at night I toss and I turn and I dream. be fast and he's gotta be fast from the fight I need a hero I'm holding up for a hero till the morning light he's gotta be sure and it's gotta be soon and he's gotta be larger than life larger than life does anyone know where this movie where this is from Shrek 2 baby that's cinema classic Somewhere after midnight in my wildest fantasy Somewhere just beyond my reach There's someone reaching back for me Resting on the thunder and rising with the heat It's gonna take a Spider-Man to sweep me off my feet I need a hero Be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. I'm holding up for a hero till the morning light. He's gotta be sure, and it's gotta be soon, and he's gotta be larger than life, larger than life. Let's break. A 
I'd where the mountains meet the heavens above I'd where the lightning spins the sea I can swear there was someone somewhere watching me Through the chill and the wind and the rain And the storm and the flood I can feel his approach like a fire in my blood Like a fire in my blood Sure, and it's gotta be soon, and it is gonna be larger than life. Oh, I need a hero. This is a reset time. I need to put my Fenty back on, sorry. Thank you. 
But where are you now? Where are you? Sing you Ooh. I'm kissing you Oh, thank you. We're gonna go straight into the next one. I always get really nervous, but um, this is one of my favorite movies of all time that this next song is from. And the wonderful thing about this movie, I'm trying to not give it away. Okay, all I'll say is I decided to watch this movie again, just to refresh my memory um, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And it was one of the worst decisions I could have made because the next day, when I had to sing this for the first time, my eyes were so puffy. <laughs> Do you know like there's like puffy eyes because you're crying and you put on the dentist, Dr. Dennis Gross stuff and you're like, I could be fine, put some ice under there or a tea bag. And then there are some nights where you cry. It'd be really horrible if it was just me that had these experiences, but I'm sure there's someone else out there who understands. And you just cry because the movie is just, it just fucks you up so good. And the next morning you're like, Whoever is in that mirror, that is not me. You know what I'm saying? This is one of these movies for me, and I'm very excited to perform this for the first time at Green Room 42. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I know. There's a song that's inside of my soul. the one that I've tried to write over and over again. I'm awake in the infinite cold. But you sing to me Top of my lungs I'm giving 
giving it back yeah. So I lay my hand back down And I lift my hands and pray To be only yours I pray To be only yours I pray To be only yours I know you're my only Anyone know? It's the saying with the full chest, a walk to remember. It's one of the best songs ever. Um, I feel like we're flying through. Oh, tell us a story. All right, why not? There was once a time in Les Mis. I was Epony in Les Mis in the West End. Oh, thank you. I would say that was probably my favorite show just because even though I to have died in all shows I've ever done. I'm actually dead. How many of you have never seen an Eva Rodney show before? Oh, shit. Okay, that's exciting. Um, I'll tell you anyway, because, you know, my dad might want to hear this, because uh, he's live streaming from North Kakalaki. Um, I, now I forgot. God dang it, Dad! I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, that's right. I was uh, Eponine and Les Mis, and I, I've truly, truly never, ever played a role. See, I'm actually serious that where I live, even in, in workshops, I did the King Kong workshop, and technically she lived at the end, but where I, when I did the iteration of that show, I was left on the top of the Empire State Building, and I had like a big solo number, which is awesome, but it's like, how the fuck is she gonna get down? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so I just assumed that she just like, woo. Um, I also did a workshop in London called Venara, and Thank you, I appreciate that. I was a little confused, however, because when we did the workshop, we were just told it was gonna be like a normal workshop. Like, maybe we'll get costumes and it'll be like, not too like, not too like legit. And by the end of those like two and a half weeks, like we had not only had costumes, but we were off book and it was filmed. And I was like, this is crazy, send this to me, it's amazing. But my character in that um, died by, um, you're gonna think I'm, by iceberg. Every night in my dream, I see you, I feel you. Not tonight. It's a horrible Celine. I'm sorry, Celine. I love you. Uh, but not because we were on a boat and we hit an, an, uh, an iceberg, but actually, when you're holding like that. <laughs> that was your fault. She wasn't in a boat. Nobody was in a boat. The iceberg was so icebergy and mad, it came on land and killed everyone. <laughs> everyone perished. Which was so weird because like at the end of the show, like we knew we were gonna die, but the blocking at the end of the show was like holding hands, walking up stage, and then there was a blackout. Which I was like, eh, it'd be cool to like see like 3D, like the ice, I don't know. Anyway, um, here's a story I wanted to tell. Live theater is amazing. I've been saying that this whole night. But there are times when things go horribly, 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 horribly wrong. One of those being the story I told you about the thing not working at the end of Hades Town. Uh, a few, a lot of things actually happened in Les Mis. That's a l big show, a lot of moving pieces, at least the old, the old version. And we're on a revolve in London. And not only are we on a small revolve, it's raked. Probably like, like that. It's pretty, it's pretty raked. And it was pretty dangerous, to be honest with you. And there were a few times when if you don't walk off stage exactly when you're supposed to, you will hit the stage and you will probably have to call out that night because you have a slight concussion. That did happen before, crazy. But one of the most memorable nights for me is when I thought I was gonna get fired in 2016. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but it is very embarrassing. I've actually not told many audiences this before, but I think it's really funny since this is now in the past. Um, and I obviously didn't get fired. Maybe that's not obvious. I did not get fired from Les Mis. <laughs> but my friends and I were joking around 
before this next number. And then I went on, did the number, and go goes into my solo on my own. I don't know what possessed me to say what I said in this number. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking, and that's the problem, children. Think. <laughs> um, I said, instead of on my own, pretending he's beside me, I said something else that rhymes with beside. <laughs> No, you're saying no, yes. I did say it. And I thought I was gonna get fired. But what happened after I said, I was like, all alone. I walked with him till I was so nervous that I was gonna get fired. Another time I actually saw, not a ghost, but an orb. I'm not even fucking playing with you. You know, I don't know if any of you, have any of you seen Les Mis? I hope so. Yes, it's one of my favorites. It's the part where she's giving, um, she's, watching uh, Jean Valjean, Eponine is watching Jean Valjean read the letter that she gives to him from Marius, that pussy ass bitch, Marius, um, on behalf of Cosette, who's kind of another pussy ass bitch. But yeah, whatever, we're gonna get into that, um, whatever. Uh, and she's watching behind these gates, right, at Rue Plame, And through the gates, I am not even kidding, because what was the Queen's Theater now, the Sondheim Theater, there, I wouldn't say it was haunted, but a lot of those theaters have a, you know, a friendly ghost or two because it, there's how old they are and how much happened, how much history they have. And I'm sitting there behind the gates and all of a sudden I see a orb, like a white light. Like this big. And it goes on, it's on the side and immediately, cause I think, oh, I have not have, I don't have great vision. So maybe it's just somebody with a really you know, white silk shirt that's trying to sit down in the middle of the, of the orchestra. But it went, and then it disappeared. And I was like, <laughs> like in my little eponine, I was like, hold on. I was like, whoo, hold on. No one else saw it because no one else was, else was reacting. But that was another story. Another great story from Miss Saigon. <laughs> um, at the end of Miss Saigon, uh, when Kim dies, I'm telling you, give me a role where I live, baby. <laughs> Just wanna live. Um, the lights are supposed to go out. I'm supposed to be like lifeless and Chris is supposed to be like, Kim, no! I'm just shaking my corpse and it's supposed to go blackout. Everyone erupts in applause. But what happened was, and in the blackout, sorry, this is when normally the actors cue it is to like leave stage, go off stage, get ready for the bows. But instead what happened was, Kim, no! And then the blackout happened. So the Chris, whose name was Alistair Brammer and I stood up and as soon as we stand up, the lights come back on. <laughs> and if you've never heard 1,200 people gasp at the same time, you would think, this is heaven. I'm dead. <laughs> but what I had to do something because I can't just walk off stage. They literally gasped because they thought she's alive. So I had to die again. And I'll show you, I'll show you what the fuck I did. This was so horrible. So, dead. Kim, no! Blackout, we get up. <gasps> and then it blacked out again. So, what I would like to know I would love to be in a situation where somebody who saw that specific performance was sitting here, and somebody who knows the show was sitting here, and this person's like, oh my gosh, did you see Miss Saigon? And this person was like, I saw it, you know, cause you know, I saw it, but like, we should stop doing that show, you know? <laughs> and this person's like, I know, but isn't it like so sad, like so sad, like what happens at the end? Yeah, it is pretty sad that she dies, um, but yeah, that's just how it goes. No, I mean like what happens at the end? What are you talking about? You know, when she dies, and then she comes back to life, and then she dies again? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, that was horrible. We've also had so many things in, in, in Les Mis where people are like, our Thenardier, I don't know if he was in character that day, but in the Paris scene when Javert comes in and, he, and he's like, 
like, I'm gonna clean the city up. Everyone's supposed to be like on the floor scared of him. And in that quietness, he did this probably 30 times. You would just hear, <laughs> that was a fart, y'all. He would fart so loud. I'm sorry, you're eating. Um, let's continue the show. Um, here's another great number from, a, oh, this was actually a musical. I went to see this with, I won't say her name because you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. She was a star and I cried because I remember watching this movie growing up and thinking three things. Wow, this, I'm obsessed with Liz Calloway. That just gave it away. <laughs> Two, I had the biggest, biggest voice crush on Liz Calloway, not only because I knew that she was Ellen, the original Ellen in Miss Saigon, but that she transformed my living room in San Diego into where this character was in real time. And it was one of the first vocal performances that stood out to me so much. I thought that that was Meg Ryan singing until I found out it was Liz Calloway. And then I put the connection together. It's crazy how many Broadway stars and Broadway singers can sing other types of music. Did, you, did any of you see that Katy Perry thing where she's like, get that Broadway out of you. I don't, I have a, I'd like to, how about no? <laughs> Sorry, girl. This one wasn't it. Um, but I'm very excited to sing this for you. We're nearing the end of the show, don't worry. And if you are, um, are looking for more fun and the best show you've ever seen, um, Reeve Carney is playing tonight here at 9.30 p.m. I will be there with bells on, baby. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, here is Journey to the Past from Anastasia. Don't desert me, don't look back Now that we're here People always say Life is full of choices No one ever mentions fear Or how the world can seem so vast On a journey Someone's waiting years and years just can't be wrong Arms will open wide, I'll be safe and wanted finally home where I belong Well, starting now, I'm learning fast on this journey so much. It's been a it's been a blast. I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. I got really nervous all of a sudden. What if I just If you don't know what this song is, why are you here? <laughs> Get out. 
What if I, what if I was so silly and I was like, this song was written by Catherine Zeta-Jones. <laughs> I, Reeve and I actually saw Pamela Anderson play Roxy and she was incredible. She was, uh, she was amazing. She, she, she had, I don't even know how to, how to say it in words. She, she knows her strengths and she was phenomenal. And we also saw her next to Lana Gordon who was uh, a Persephone for a while at Hadestown. So it's nice, it's nice to support theater. Thank you for support, uh, supporting performing arts in New York City. Thank you, seriously. Can you believe it? A, three years ago today, the world shut down. Oh my God, is that really? Isn't it crazy? March 12th, sorry. Shit. Ooh, gross. I'm gonna just set the stage because, hold on. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Thank you, please vamp. I actually majored in dance in school. Don't look at my feet. <laughs> Not that kind of dance. Uh, lyrical and uh, my, my point was never this. It was always that. Um, if someone knows what I mean. It's very important to allow people to have a great, a great arch. But this song, when I saw the movie, I was like, I need to go see it on Broadway. And I finally did, not with Pamela first, but the different cast first. And I was blown away. It was incredible. Um, part of me wishes that I could do that show because it looks like they're having so much fun. Um, and right across the street, I'm just like going to hell. <laughs> Literally. It's fun. But we're gonna finish tonight with this little ditty. So I hope that you all had a wonderful time. Please, please um, take care of yourselves. Come to Reef Show if you're free. And hey. Come on, baby, why don't we paint the town? In all that jazz, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz Start the car I know a whoopy spot Where the gin is cold But the piano's hot It's just a noisy hall Where there's a nightly brawl And all That Jazz Slick your hair And wear your buckle shoes and all that jazz, I hear the father dip is gonna blow the blues. And all that jazz, come on, babe, we're gonna bunny hug. I bought some aspirin down at United Drug in case you shake apart and want a brand new star to do that jazz. Shiba shimmy shake and all that jazz. Oh, she's gonna shimmy till her garters break. Oh, and all that jazz. Oh, I'm gonna pop a girdle. <laughs> if she hears her baby queer for all that jazz. Playing fast and loose. I'm so sweaty right now. I can't see. And all that jazz right up here is where I store the juice. The juice, honey. And all that jazz. Come on, babe. We're gonna brush the sky. I bet you're lucky, Lindy. Never flew so high. But in the stratosphere, how could you lend an ear to do that jazz? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just
just fucking with you. <laughs> There's no exit over there. Oh, God, I've lost my mind. Okay, we have one more. Um, I'd like to dedicate this next song to Reeve Carney. Because he is one, the, the most talented person I've ever been able to witness. And the fact that I get to witness it this close is just super crazy. And uh, yeah, my birthday is also... Um, yeah, four years, which is wonderful. Um, and also, thank you to everyone live streaming tonight. I'm so glad that you uh, bought a ticket so that we can all enjoy this night together and just be goofy and silly. Um, that's really what my shows are. So um, I hope you had a good time. If it was your first time coming tonight and somebody dragged you along, um, oh well. <laughs> hope you had a great time. Um, but this song, we're going to finish with this song and then I'm really going to leave. But before I start, Rodney Bush. Anything you'd like to say? Are you sure? Nothing to the masses. Such as um, all the maps, such as... Oh, sorry, I'm going to shut the fuck up now. Thank you everybody for coming and we're closing out with this one. I love you all. And it's been such a great night. Thank you. Thank you all.